Hi, my name's Joe. Welcome to my channel where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. Today is an episode where I do something really stupid to my espresso machine, but it's for good reason. The Gaggia Classic Pro is set to 11 bars. Well, 11 bars is not really the best uh, pressure to be pulling out espresso. So I'm going to attempt to take out the spring that controls the pressure, cut it, and then put it back in. So first off, let's uh, open this espresso machine. So you have two screws here. Okay. And then you gotta kind of pull it out and over. I think that is, oh, we're caught on something there. Yeah, I think we're all good. Okay, I'm just gonna let this hang off. These wires should be strong enough. Also, disclaimer, maybe don't do this. It does void your warranty. Also, Gaji, if you're looking, just look away because I still want my warranty. <laughs> but it probably is going to void it. So anyways, I'm going to use this. Also, I think this is a 10 uh, millimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep going to this. These are a little bit harder to use. If you have just one that's uh, a non-adjustable, then use that, because this is kind of a pain. Eh, we're getting there. Also, make sure if you do decide to do this, uh, make sure that your espresso machine is turned off, cold, and um, doesn't have many much water in it maybe empty it completely. So I'm still going. I think I can do this by hand now. Yep. What if it just blew up on me? That wouldn't be good, right? <laughs> no, I think we're good. Cool. And there's that magical spring. Check that out. Okay, so this should be pretty easy. You just pull this out. And I read that if you just take off about two loops, I don't know if you can get in there enough. So one, and then maybe two. So I have a wire cutter here. This feels very dangerous. Okay, so one and two. So let's go like right there. Sorry, it's really hard to like see and do this here. All right, so we got two off, I think. Let's see if we could find that piece. Did it go anywhere? No, I found it. So this is how much I cut off. Hopefully I didn't cut off too much. I think I did pretty good actually. That's just about two. One full rotation is there. And this is what we have left. Now, I'd recommend putting it back the way it came in. So this is the side that was down, the one that I just cut. And the reason I did that is that it wasn't double, it wasn't quite as tight, quite as tight, I guess, back here. So I'm going to push this back in. I am going to push this in. Okay. So that's there. Let me see if I can start tightening it. My hope is that it will kind of turn with it, but now you want to make sure this is tight. It was pretty hard to, to jostle loose. So you really want to try to get it back to that pressure because there is a lot of pressure. Nine bars, I think is equivalent to like 131 PSI or something along those lines. So that's a lot of pressure. Don't uh, mess around with that. I think this is actually working. So just keep screwing it back in until you get it pretty tight. You don't want to over tighten it. Oh, actually there's a stopping point. So I just got it right to the stopping point. It should be good. So that's everything set up. I'm like nervous to turn this machine back on because I just messed around with it. Now when you put this back in, make sure you get this slotted in. There's like a little slot here for this. Uh, as you can see, you just kind of push it right back in. And then let's see if the other thing you want to do is make sure you can line up the hole with the 
here we go with the water tank. So this is where the water goes. So just make sure you get that lined up. So that's all good. Let me screw this back down. But definitely be checking for leaks. Okay, so that's back in. Don't Definitely don't over tighten these ones because you could really screw that up. All right, so we're back. I got the espresso machine heated up. I did a 17 gram shot. I'm also gonna compare it to a shot that I took before and we could take a look at the side-by-side -side comparison. Before I do that though, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. And also, we're giving this espresso machine away. Uh, so go ahead and click on the link in the description below to enter for that giveaway. All right, so let's get started. When I say we're giving this machine away, we're giving a brand new one away, not necessarily this one. Anyways, uh, let me grab an espresso shot. Let's let her rip. Now this grind setting is the same as the other one. So in theory, it, I can't, I'm not 100% sure, but it, it should maybe pull slower. So I don't know, we're gonna find out. Yeah. Yeah, that flow is definitely slower. There goes both sides. Now that might have been in the way I was distributing it. I didn't time the shot and I'm not timing the shot. I'm just gonna try to get it to about the same level as the last one. So, boom. All right, let's take a look. This probably pulled a little too long, but you know. Yeah, it's a little, this is over, a little bit over extracted, but hey, I mean, I think the, uh, I think it probably worked. I should probably get a pressure gauge at some point. Maybe I'll do that to check the level on this. I think all you have to do is unscrew this bottom part and put that on. So maybe I'll do, do that just to see where the uh, pressure is sitting at now. But uh, yeah, it definitely seemed to have worked and maybe uh try it at home but don't try it at home because i don't want to tell you to break your machine that was definitely risky so have a good one again don't forget to like and subscribe thanks